Cardi B's pregnancy has been the subject of a lot of recent pregnancy speculations, mostly because of her recent public event attire. Welcome back it's your host Nancy Brown, if you are new here make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. Furthermore, her performance at yesterday night's BET Experience concert series did not assist her achieve her goal of avoiding this for the time being. Fans on Twitter, in particular, believe that the Bronx Femsey may be concealing a baby belly because of her choice of oversized jersey. Even if all of this is just hypothetical at the moment, it's still an intriguing idea to think about. She also criticized her production crew on stage for being ill-prepared. And during this performance, fans searched for hints about her upcoming album. Cardi B reacted, girl shut up, to a user who had chastised her for making fun of her staff in front of the audience. When you do a show you don't pay after you pay before I paid 350,000 up front the least they could do is get my pyro ready and turn the fans on because guess what? At the end of the day that money is not returnable don't half of my show because you comfortable when I definitely don't half a when it comes to paying don't tell me how to talk to anybody when you the same HE talking about my kids and other deceased parents for no reason. This ugly social media exchange seems to have ended quickly after Cardi B reportedly deactivated the account. Now, back to the pregnancy rumors, given her recent rocky relationship with Offset, this is very noteworthy. Although they have always had setbacks and reconciled, their current relationship state is not quite obvious. Maybe this will be their next big chance for both romantic and familial reconciliation. I told people to stop playing with me. You wanna keep fucking playing with me. You can count on Cardi B to disclose any major issues in her life with her followers on social media in order to quickly let off steam. People, they like to gaslight me and they think that they can manipulate my fucking brain. Her most recent Instagram tirade also came in two parts, an IG live session in the dark and a written declaration on her Instagram story. The Bronx Femsey specifically took issue with people who tried to gaslight and deceive her about taking care of her kids, believing that since she lived in a ghetto, they could get away with it. But what you're not going to do is try to act like I need to be accountable, especially when it comes to my fucking kid. Many people in the comments section of the Instagram photo speculate that she might be alluding to her intermittent partner's family because she called Offset a terrific father, but then went on to disparage a broad general demographic. I grew up poor but with so much love Cardi B began her caption on her latest Instagram story over the weekend. From my mom and dad's side of the family I will not accept nothing less for my children I would not accept fake love for my kids. My family is enough. Meanwhile, Cardi B recently acknowledged during her statement winning the Hollywood Unlocked Impact Awards Inspiration Award on Friday, June 21st, that she can be hard on herself during these turbulent times. I just want to say thank Jason Lee so much for this award, she told the crowd at the ceremony. I'm really my biggest critic and I always say this. Nobody Nobody has it harder than in the industry and in every genre than a female rapper, and I'm going to tell you why. You have to have the best verse. Not only that, you have to kill the charts. On top of that, your personal life has to be perfect. Or then the op bees are going to use that against you. Your husband. Your husband. Shut up, Cardi B continued, possibly referring to all the drama around her and Offset's relationship. I make more money than all the NSRF king. So, you know, sometimes, it is hard to be yourself. It is hard to want to push yourself into the music because sometimes I don't like showing weakness in my music because you can't see the PY in me. BH. Azalea Banks spent a good portion of Saturday morning on X posting a diatribe over Lado and the criticism she has seen throughout her career. Banks gave fans her honest opinions about Lado after talking on how much she detested Lord, Charlie XCX, and other pop singers. She is really missing out on so much iconicness by not being Milato, she began in response to one user. Second off, for all that social backlash and for people to be dumb enough not to realize her name is still Milato but abbreviated should prove that they stupid internet anger addicts. In a second post, she added, who are not as socially insightful as they think they are and made all that ruckus just to get hoodwinked. Plus is her calling herself mulatto at all even slightly as denigrating and detrimental as black artists calling themselves and their peers ns all day. From there, she concluded, no one had any reason to come for her. It was stupid, it was hypocritical, stressful and delusional to come down on her so hard. If her whiteness was the issue, why are they okay with use of the n-word in her songs? Please be mulatto it's epic sis. From there, fans requested Banks' thoughts on Ariana Grande, Ice Spice, and many more artists. It's no secret that Lado and Ice Spice are at odds, and judging on one of the rapper from George's most recent posts. Their animosity doesn't seem to be going away anytime soon. Lado posted something on X earlier today that appeared to be a direct swipe at another femsey. She posted a picture of a cake with a poop motif on Instagram to celebrate being the featured artist at this year's hot 107.9 birthday bash in Atlanta. She used a disparaging caption. It says, Think I'm the ST, BH. This obviously refers to Ice Spice's song Think You the ST, which many have theorized has lyrics directed towards Lado. 
I got my foot on they necks, I can't let up. She all on the floor, told her get up. She raps on the song, seemingly referencing Lado's hit Put It On Da Floor. The Bronx MC retaliated with Sunday Service, which some believe to be an Ice Spice diss track, and Lado then fired back with Gimme A Light. Though it's obvious that she's not attempting to avoid any smoke, it's unclear what prompted her to make this most recent post. Although Ice Spice's sales aren't as great as they were a year ago, her next album Y2K has the potential to immediately alter that and even push them to all-time highs. Fans believe she is copying her close friend Nicki Minaj a bit too much, though, based on a recent teaser clip that also shows off her brand new bob haircut. Name got the bitch gag in, hit the bench up and tagged in. Furthermore, even if the majority of this tease track still plays with the melancholic drill sound that we all know and love, you can definitely hear this in the flow at the finish. People appear to be taking things a bit too far. These bitches biting on my flows. Whether this is overtly biting or an inspired homage is up for dispute between the barbs and the munches. Since Ice Spice and Nicki Minaj have collaborated on multiple occasions, there is at least some precedence and relationship between them, so their similarities shouldn't be viewed negatively. After all, Ice Spice has always shown off her influences. However, we'll let the online opinion lion's den make that determination. But elsewhere, she's getting ready for this new millennium in major ways, including with a headline performance at the upcoming Beach, Please Music Festival in Romania. Thanks for watching. Tell us what you think in the comment section and most importantly subscribe. See you.